coming out today. Uh, I want to take a minute just to start off with an appreciation for our student musicians who, who, who were playing when you came in. Um, and, and their teacher, Caitlin Donovan, who's the, who's the music teacher here, she tells me that they have named themselves, the a cappella group has named themselves the Clay Pit Crooners, so be on the, be on the lookout for that, uh, for that band. So good afternoon, welcome this year's staff recognition ceremony. Uh, I'm Mike McAllister, I'm happy to be hosting this event this year, and I'll start off with some very brief remarks to get us started. So, 2023 remark, uh, marks the 32nd time we've all gathered together as colleagues to recognize the work that Belmont's educators have done over the course of their careers. So in my first few years in this specific position, we were forced to meet online via Zoom or Google Meet, and last year we finally returned in person, and I'm glad to once again meet live for this ceremony. Um, there really is no exception uh, for an in-person handshake, a pat on the back, or a hug to genuinely congratulate your colleagues on these accomplishments. So I'm glad to see everyone here. We gather today to celebrate those educators, celebrating 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and for the first time in several years, 35 years of service to the children of Belmont. No small feat. So in total this afternoon, we're gonna celebrate 66 individual educators, our highest number ever, which is a good sign for our retention of our valued educators. They come from all six schools and from the district leadership office, and collectively, they've contributed over a thousand years 1,145 to be exact, so um, literally a millennium of service uh, educating Belmont's children. So that's countless students inspired, countless futures positively impacted, and countless lives changed for the better. These educators today will fill a lot of different roles. They're classroom teachers, they're professional aides, they're custodians, they're maintenance employees, they're curriculum specialists, they're therapists, they're electricians, they're administrative assistants, they're members of the food service team, and they are district-wide leaders. They work in a lot of different places, in classrooms, in cafeterias, in offices, and on the stage. And they've worked for many lengths of time, between 15 and 35 years. Uh, but whatever role they play, they all contribute to the larger mission of the Belmont Public Schools, which is educating children and preparing them for their future. So today we thank all of you for your contributions, and especially for the length of your contributions to Belmont's children and to their families. So however you calculate it, it's an incredible amount of dedication, of service, and effort. And so today we're fortunate to be able to stop, say thank you, and celebrate all of you for your exceptional loyalty. So to begin today's ceremony in earnest, I'm gonna ask Superintendent Phelan uh, to come up and say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very, very happy to be here. Um, as Mike stated, the best part of this event is that it recognizes every type of role that we have in the Belmont Public Schools. Uh, so I want to start by thanking people in some of those roles today. Uh, Rebecca and Consuelo, who work at Central Office, that organized this whole day. Thank you, Consuelo. Thank you, Rebecca. Big round of applause for them. Jackie Morgan and her staff for the food service in Gale, all of our food service staff across all six buildings, some of whom are being recognized today. They work tirelessly for the kids in for you each day. A big round of applause for them for holding this event. In the last day, um, both Janice and I were at several different meetings, and at both of those important meetings, one with the NEASC accreditation group that comes to all high schools in the country, and at our school committee last night, when we were asked what was the biggest value to the Belmont Public Schools, we said the teachers and the staff in each building every day. So where we wanted to dedicate our resources at our school committee meeting last night was in our school buildings for our educators and our staff, where the officials from NEASC wanted to identify what was the magic uh, potion that makes Belmont work. We said the classrooms, we said the students, we said the staff, um, and we honestly believe that. So when you're not there, we say that, and when you're here today, we continue to say that. So thank you very much. We value and respect uh, all your work each day. Uh, I'm very excited to acknowledge and recognize folks with 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30 and 35 years. Good grief. How about Marie and Noreen at 35 years? Big advanced round of applause. So uh, thank you all for being here. It's a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Uh, I'm very, very happy to watch all these folks get recognized in a meaningful way. I'm thankful to have with us today also School Committee Chair uh, Meg Moriarty, who will be speaking uh, soon. Uh, and with that, thank you for being here, and we look forward to the rest of the program. Thank you, Mike. All right, so to introduce colleagues who are celebrating their 10-year milestone, I'll ask Denise LaPola, BEA Vice President, to say a few words. Or at least read them. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to this ceremony. And um, as Mike just said, I am the Vice President of the Teachers Unit A. And I am here to um, celebrate the milestone of people who have worked here for 10 years. So I'm gonna read the names out and people will come up and get their certificates. Um, we'll start with Mark Abruzzisi. <laughs> Elaine Avadis. Colleen Cassidy. Capably a company. <laughs> well, you all can say it. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Carew. <laughs> Ursa Flam. Uh, Jason Greenwood. <laughs> Vicki Livermore. <laughs> Nathaniel Markley. <laughs> Linda Medwa. It's a good day for a good day. Emily Macnow. <laughs> Michelle Mola. <laughs> Evans Montesia. Erin Severy. And Kimberly Thompson. Thank you very much, Denise. Give her a hand, please. Uh, to introduce colleagues celebrating their 15-year milestone, I'm, I'm happy to welcome Meg Moriarty, School Committee Chair, to say a few words and read a few names. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Mike said, my name is Meg Moriarty, and I'm Chair of the Belmont School Committee. It's my honor to introduce the names of those Belmont educators who are celebrated in their 15-year milestone of service to the children of Belmont. Thank you very much. Uh, I will start with Suzanne Ackerman. Stacy Emerald. Marcos Bale. Is Marcos here? Well, as a, as a former PTA from Butler, we could not have done it without Marcos. Um, Maureen Bean. Kathleen Belanger. Megan Clow. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Leon Dyer. <laughs> Jessica Endress. <laughs> Lisa Fagan. <laughs> Nicolette Foundas. Nicole Frazone. <laughs> Melissa Tax. <laughs> Carla Hamilton. <laughs> Jacqueline Hardy. Joshua Strait, Peter Tasik, <laughs> Artemis Tingos. Tracy, Seema Shaw, Marsha Woodbury, thank you to all of you. And to introduce the colleagues who are celebrating their 20 year milestone, I will ask Janice Darius, Assistant Superintendent. Um, first person I know is not able to be here, but we'll clap anyway, um, Eric Berkman. <laughs> Michael Cotter. <laughs> Jessica DeFrancis. Jeanette English? Aaron Tebow. Terry Grimm.
Thank you very much to Janice. Give her a hand, please. So I want to thank uh, Superintendent Phelan for his remarks, Denise Lapola, Meg Moriarty, and Janice Darius for, today's, uh, for their help with today's ceremony. So for those educators celebrating 25, 30, and even 35-year milestones uh, of service for the children of Belmont, we ask their direct supervisors to say a few brief words to honor their efforts over such a significant amount of time. So we're going to ask you to come up, be embarrassed a little bit while we read some nice things about you, and then I promise it'll be easy after that. So to start with, um, I'm going to begin with Ken Kramer, our Director of Student Services, on behalf of Alex Boudet. Come on up. And Alex isn't here, but you're all going to, when tomorrow, you're all going to say, I heard this amazing, no, no, you're not getting out of that, Ken, get up here. You're going to say, Ken gave this amazing speech, and I at least want you to hear it, so there you go. There you go. I thought I was getting out of something. Well, for all the speech therapists in the room, I think they'll appreciate this. It's always a pleasure to be able to uh, say nice things about the people that you work with. Um, and I've had the pleasure of working with Alex for 17 years. Uh, evidently, she was here eight years before me, and I didn't know that. Um, but it was interesting when I was thinking about, about Alex and the fact that she was a speech and language therapist. A few words came to mind that I don't think I'd be able to pronounce if it weren't for a speech and language therapist many, many, many years ago. So I'm going to read you a few of those words. So when I think about Alex, I think about excellence, not escalence, but excellence. I think about professionalism. I think about proficient. And I think about being adept. And I wouldn't be able to pronounce those if it weren't for somebody like Alex. Uh, I also think about collegiality. Uh, I'd like to think I wasn't thinking about that word when I was learning how to pronounce all of these. Um, but certainly the efforts of a speech and language therapist many years ago, similar to Alex, helped me achieve uh, my ability to enunciate. Uh, one of the best things I appreciate about Alex is he come, she comes to every meeting. Uh, she comes to every consult, and she comes to uh, any phone call or Google Meet or any time I ask her, she's there with suggestions, thoughtful, measured advice, and expertise and guidance. She's not there with a lot of should-haves. Uh, she's there with a lot of, I think we can do this. And that, to me, is one of the best ways that any of us as educators can contribute. Because in doing that, Alex recognizes that we are all contributing to what's going on for our students. And Alex really has a wonderful sense of how all of what she does integrates with what all of you do and the rest of the people in her building do uh, for the benefit of all of our students. Um, she's been a terrific asset for our schools. Uh, she's been a terrific colleague for the people at Wellington. Uh, and she's a very skilled, knowledgeable professional that, as a student service uh, director, I've been privileged to work with. Uh, I've taken a lot of pride in being able to uh, say that Alex is one of ours, um, and she's definitely deserved uh, the accolades we can afford to give her after uh, 25 years. <laughs> so good on Alex. I'm sorry she's not here. Thank you to Ken and congratulations to Alex. Uh, our next presenter, uh, presenting uh, on behalf of Joanna Colton, is Anita Be Mecklenburg, our Winbrook principal. Come on up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something embarrassing to say. As Winbrook's guidance counselor, Joanna Colton is on call all of the time. She often helps to diffuse a crisis. Over the long haul, she helps kids develop skills and strategies to manage life. I got to know her in the pandemic. More than once, I've been able to help an immobile student with the words, would you like to go to Ms. Colton's office? We have become partners in the work of supporting students, their families, our staff, and each other. I'm personally grateful for this partnership and I know that our students are much better off because she is there. 
Joanna, thank you for your dedication. Thank you, Anita, and congratulations to Joanna. Um, next up is our uh, Butler principal, Julie Babson, celebrating Sylvie Haffer, who celebrates 25 years. So Sylvie, come on up as well. You're gonna stand here and be embarrassed. <laughs> My name's Julie Babson. I'm the principal of the Butler School. It's great to be back here. Um, Sylvie has been a staple in the Belmont Public Schools since 1995, where she started as a substitute teacher. In 1998, she shifted roles to the, to the roles of building aid in ELL tutor at the Butler School. Her transitions over the years have been challenging, from part-time ELL tutor with her own office, to a professional aid split between two different schools, to a professional aid split between two different grades, with partial access to an office, to a half-time floating aid picking up responsibilities like covering teacher collaboration meetings, recess and lunch, as well as morning duty, as well as a one-to-one -one aid in a variety of grades at Butler. Whatever we ask of Sylvie, she has done without hesitation. During her years at the Butler School, she's worked under four principals, four administrative assistants, countless teachers, and hundreds of students. Sylvie is a constant learner, always wanting to understand and learn more to improve her own skill set and her impact on students. She's always willing and available to step in wherever support is needed, and she does this without a moment's hesitation often anticipating where she may be needed before it's even brought up. She is the utmost professional and is always willing to do whatever is asked of her and always with kindness and an openness to change. She tries to make every minute of her time at Butler useful, whether it's doing administrative tasks for a teacher, covering a class, or supporting a student. She has been a true collaborator. Collaborate. Oh my goodness, where's Alex? A true collaborator who continually listens, asks great questions, seeks feedback, and provides guidance for our youngest learners. She's a treasured member of the Butler staff and is so deserving of this recognition. Thank you, Sylvie, for your 25 years of service. Congratulations, Sylvie. Give her a hand, please. Next, I'm going to ask our Director of Food Services, Jackie Morgan, to come on up to represent uh, Silva Kavak. Oh, sorry, it's going to be Gail Milani, our Assistant Director of uh, uh, Food Services. Come on up. Everyone gets embarrassed. Come on up. <laughs> Good afternoon, Gail Milani from Food Services. I'd like to open with a quote on Silva Kavak. She's been with us for 25 years. This is for Silva. Work ethic is important because, unlike intelligence, athleticism, charisma, or any other natural attribute, it's a choice. That's by Mike Rowe. She embodies that quote. Okay. Silva? It has been my pleasure to work with you for 19 of your last 25 years with the Town of Belmont Food Service Program, and your work ethic is certainly a choice. As you have grown within the... What did I do now? Okay. There have been many requests made of you as you have grown within the program, and I have never heard you say no. Only that you'll get it done. After speaking with some of your colleagues, I was told Silva is, a, is loyal to her job, she is honest and devoted. 
She treats the children in the district just as she would her own children. You started with us part-time and have developed over the years to become a head cook at the Winbrook School. Mastering your Serve Safe certification, as the head cook, you must be proficient in food service, nutrition, allergies, POS, in food service, that's short for point of sale, systems, and most importantly, customer service with students and staff. You are also a huge contributor to the creation of meal bags at VHS during the pandemic. You did it with a smile. I am proud of you in more ways than I can ever say CeeLo, that's her nickname, not Silva, but CeeLo. Congratulations on 25 years with us. Give her another round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> Up next, I'm going to ask Nicolette Fondas to present on behalf of John Marks <laughs> and Liz Bacon. Uh, where's John? There he's over. Ah, John. Okay, there you go. You get both of us, because there's a lot to say. No, I'm sorry, we'll be here, we'll try to be short. Um, today, I'm uh, so I'm Nicolette Bonis. this is Liz Baker. Today, we are delighted to have the pleasure of recognizing John Marks for 25 years of service to Chenery Middle School. John has touched the lives of approximately 2,800 students and, and inspired them with his love of science. John prepared for his career receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Biology from the College of is it Wooster or Worcester? <laughs> One of those two. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not from Ohio. In college, John was very active in his community while being the Greek letters vice president, participated in Scott Hoops pep band, Scott marching and symphonic band, and was an intramural athlete. Oh yeah. Playing soccer, <laughs> ultimate frisbee, basketball, hockey, and softball, and was on the student activities board movie committee. <laughs> we did dive deep. We did dive deep. Really, what did really I do in high school? And I got to see your <laughs> hand right. Yeah, we went. When he joined the Chenery Middle School in Belmont community in 1998, it was not surprising that John was also a very active faculty member. John was a co-director of the Middle School Science Olympiad team for many years and the event developer for the State Science Olympiad competition. Most recently, John has been leading a group of students to participate in NASA's Growing Beyond Earth program. Students involved in this citizen science mission helped collect experimental data, which will inform decisions about what plants should be grown on the International Space Station and eventually on lunar Mars. John has also had a large impact on the adult community at the Chenery. He has hosted student teachers, mentored many colleagues, both formally and informally, and been a pillar of strength and stability on his team, especially over the past few years. One particular colleague of note became Mrs. Marks. <laughs> and the two worked next door for many years, until this past year when Joanne became an administrator in Wakefield. She left me for another school. <laughs> <laughs> when asked about John's best traits, your current colleagues very much appreciate your creativity, humor, and passion for not just teaching, but helping students. I quote one colleague who said, he is also one of the most generous people with his time. Another colleague sums up your impact saying, he's been the backbone and visionary of the science science department, the Chenery Science Department for decades and will be deeply missed when he moves on to the new middle school. In one of his early year professional goal settings, John wrote, my goal over the long term is to continue developing activities that challenge students on all levels. I hope to create lessons that have students pushing their own limits. John, you surely achieved this, and it showed when you were awarded the FBE Outstanding Teacher of the Year in, 2000, uh, in 2022. Students also had a lot to say about what they admire about Mr. Marks. Are Most, current students? There's a range. Oh, there's a, a wide range. We'll give that to you. And Frisbee was mentioned. Most recently, a student shared, I remember when I didn't do great on a test. Mr. Marks helped me, helped me after class and discussed it with me since I was feeling anxious and disappointed with myself. 
He told me that he sees me as someone who will make a change in this world one day. And a single science test does not dis diminish that. I was able to do corrections, which uplifted my grade, and I felt accomplished, though I didn't do well originally. I have carried this on throughout with me and always appreciated it. There were many more student quotes that we will not tell you now, but we'll share with you after this. Um, John, you're always there for everyone, especially the quiet ones. And we could not conclude this without mentioning how grateful we are for your phenomenal Halloween costumes. We are very lucky to have you here in our school community. Congratulations on 25 years. Thank you. Glad they didn't dig into high Congratulations again, John. Give him a hand, please. And thank you, uh, Liz, and thank you, Nicolette. Uh, up next, we have Brenda Moreau, principal of the Burbank School, presenting uh, on behalf of Kathy McClellan. Come on up. Please. Okay, we're switching places here. Hi, everybody. I'm Brenda Morrow, and I am pleased to celebrate Kathy McClellan and her 25 years of service at Burbank School. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Kathy McClellan joined Burbank School as a kindergarten classroom assistant in 1998. And she has been a, con a constant on the kindergarten team ever since. In her first ever evaluation as a classroom assistant, Kathy was described as very enthusiastic about the classroom assistant position, positive about the lunch aid responsibilities, very positive relationships, and easy to get along with. After 25 years of service to our school community, it is incredible to note that these descriptors still apply to Kathy. Kathy, I want to share some memories okay. that our students have shared about you. Stop it. Okay. I have known her since I was three. She is so kind. She answers all my questions and can do so many things at the same time. Mrs. M always makes people happy when they are sad and is very helpful. I ask her questions and she answers me every time. She is very good around kids. <laughs> and this last one, she is very sweet and she is always super nice. She helped me learn how to swing on the playground and she helped me learn how to climb the monkey bars. At the end of this school year, Kathy will be retiring, and our staff wants you to know how much you are appreciated. For the past 25 years, you have helped our youngest learners get adjusted to kindergarten with a caring smile, warm hug, and a sparkle in your blue eyes. You love the students you work with, and it is evident by the way you talk about them. You have a caring and gentle demeanor that students really connect with. You look after all of the students like they are your own. Your friendly smile will be missed walking around Burbank, and our breakfast team won't be the same without you. We know you love the breakfast, Kathy. For those of you who don't know, Thursday breakfasts are a big tradition at Burbank, and Kathy always made delicious contributions when it was her turn. Kathy, thank you for your 25 years of service to our youngest learners, and best of luck in your well-deserved retirement. Kathy, congratulations not only on 25 years, but on retirement. And our final 25-year person is Deb McDevitt. So I'm going to invite Janice up. Deb, come on up, please. Come on, Deb. A little closer. So today, I am honored to speak about Deborah McDevitt as we recognize her 25 years of service to the Belmont Public Schools. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deb started her journey as an educator 27 years ago after earning a degree in political science from Bates College and a Master of Arts in Teaching from Tufts. 
She taught for two years at Marshfield High School before joining the faculty at Belmont High in September of 1998. She began leading the social studies department in September of 2009, first as the lead teacher for high school social studies, and then she was appointed as the director for grades five through 12 the following year. So like some of my colleagues, I reached out to the middle and high school teachers, uh, social studies teachers for some input. I would have to probably talk for the next hour to tell you all the things they said, but I won't. Um, here's a sampling of some of the amazing things they said about you. Deb is the best boss I have ever had. There's no time spent collaborating with her that does not make me feel better about what I'm doing. She pushes the department forward in a thoughtful way and has the best icebreakers for meetings. No one has impacted my teaching more positively than Deb McDevitt during my time at BPS. She understands so clearly what it means to be an educator which means she relates so successfully to the teachers in our department and is a really strong support to us all. I love that she truly balances the needs of educators with what is best for student learning and the advice and guidance she gives. Deb is a great person to brainstorm with when trying to solve a problem. Deb mentors our entire department on all personal and prof professional levels. I turn to her for advice in dealing with tricky situations. I know that her ideas will be practical and sound. She's reflective and thoughtful about the skills and curriculum we teach, always striving to improve the experience of Belmont students. She's had a huge influence on how I teach and support students. Thank you to the educators for sharing your thoughts. I have them all here. I'll give them to you. Deb's leadership extends well beyond social studies. She, along with Jeff Shea, standing back there, um, and Steve Mazzola were instrumental in transitioning Belmont High School to a one-to-one -one district, one-to-one -one school. Um, she's an incredible force in our work to become an anti-racist district through her co-leadership with Lindsay Rinder of the Culturally Responsive Teaching Steering Committee. And as one of her colleague directors put it, She's an excellent, humble leader who cares deeply about teachers and what's best for students. Deb, thank you for your many contributions to the Belmont Public Schools, and congratulations to you for your 25 years of service. Congratulations to Deb, and thank you to Janice. Uh, up next, I'm going to ask Julie Babson to come back up to speak on behalf of Jenny Filippi, who is celebrating 30 years in the Belmont Public Schools. Thank you. I'll be nice. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So, Ms. Filippi began working in Belmont in 1993 as a long term substitute teacher in the fifth grade, and I quote, inclusive model classroom at the Wellington School. In 1994, she shifted to the role as a fourth grade teacher at Butler, where she worked for the next 12 years. In 2006, Ms. Philippi moved to second grade at the Butler School, which is where she has worked since. During her years at the Butler School, Jenny has been a building representative for the BEA, worked as a Title I teacher, as well as participated in various interview committees, PLTs, and child study teams. Ms. Philippi is an incredibly organized educator in her approach to planning, as well as developing routines and expectations in her classroom. Whenever I informally pop into her classroom, there's a quiet hum where students are engaged in small groups, partnerships, or working independently. Her students are always willing to share what they are working on and know what is expected of them. Despite her 30 years of teaching in the Belmont Public Schools, Ms. Philippi is a lifelong learner, always wanting to learn and grow her practice. She has attended a multitude of workshops, graduate courses, and collaborated with staff to further develop her skill set and improve student outcomes, and is a voracious reader of murder mysteries. <laughs> Ms. Philippi remains calm and balanced no matter what may occur. This could be due to her earlier days of ballet performance and instruction. 
and we all feel welcome and valued with, when in Miss Philippi's presence. She is the hostess with the mostess and has opened her Lexington and Gloucester homes many times for staff get-togethers. As one colleague shared, Jenny is a wonderful colleague and friend. She has a great sense of humor. She's open-minded, kind, and generous. She's a good listener and quick with an honest word of advice. Outside of school, she's one of the best people to enjoy a glass of wine or listen to music with anywhere near the ocean. Jenny, you are a valued member of the Butler School and so deserving of this recognition. Thank you for your years of service. Congratulations, Jenny, and thank you, Julie. I'm going to ask Brenda Moreau to come back up and this time bring Vicki O'Regan with you for her celebration of 30 years of service. joined Burbank School as a reading teacher in October of 1993, and her appointment letter named her as a regular teacher in the public schools of Belmont. It is very fascinating to think that the word regular would ever be used to describe any teacher, and it is definitely not a word that has ever been used to describe Vicki since her appointment letter from 1993. Vicki's personnel file is filled with letters of accolades, evidence of professional coursework to grow her knowledge and skills, and glowing evaluations of her performance. Early on in her career, it was noted that Vicki demonstrates a mastery in language arts, particularly related to strategies for improving the reading performance of students. Our students and staff have benefited from Vicki's mastery of language arts and so much more over the past 30 years. Vicki is not one for long speeches of recognition, but in preparation for today, students and staff have a few things they really want Vicki to know about her impact. Students shared that Mrs. O'Regan helps us read and helps us with our writing. She helps us do the, th the right things, and she helps people a lot. Whenever I walk by her in the morning, she always says good morning. She is very kind. She always puts music on on Fridays to help us get excited for the day. Staff describe Vicki as a natural leader in our building. She is level-headed, calm, and efficient. She is always thoughtful about the best way to solve problems and has her colleagues' best interest in mind. Vicki puts her heart and smile into everything she does. She helps students and staff through complex situations and leads with, you doing okay? She is a mentor to all and always goes above and beyond. She is one in a million. Vicki, thank you for your 30 years of service that have been nothing close to regular. You are a gift to our school community, and here's to 30 more. <laughs> Vicki, congratulations, and Brenda, thank you for that. Uh, the last uh, educator celebrating 30 years is Ted Trodden, so I'm gonna ask Julie Babson to come on back up, and Ted to come on, on over, celebrating 30 years. Trodden is very familiar with the Belmont schools as he is a graduate of the class of 1987 from Belmont High School. Mr. Trodden started teaching in the Belmont schools in 1993 where he was a PE teacher at the high school, the Wellington School, and the Butler schools. From 1997 to 1999, Mr. Trodden worked at the then new Chenery Middle School where he taught all 12 fifth grade classrooms, one of them being mine. In 2000, Mr. Trodden worked two and a half days at each of the Burbank and the Butler, and eventually called Butler his home in 2005. Yes, Mr. Trodden has taught in every single Belmont school in the district, and has taught under 13 different principals, 
Every year since 1973, Ted has either been a student, a coach, or a teacher in the Belmont Public Schools. <laughs> Not only has Mr. Trotten been a PE teacher, wow, I just realized I'm reading this without my glasses. Wow, that's much better. He's not only been a PE teacher, he has also been deeply involved in various athletic programs in Belmont. He has been the freshman football coach, the assistant coach for boys varsity hockey, freshman boys soccer coach, boys JV soccer coach, and as well as the JV and varsity softball coach at Belmont High School. And as the PE teacher who works with every child in the school, Mr. Trotten knows the name of every student and cares for each of them. He gets to know siblings, parents, and grandparents. He has even taught the granddaughters and great-granddaughters of his own first grade teacher, Miss Ruth Marchetta, from the Payson Park School in Belmont. <laughs> Payson Park School is long gone. Ted has made an impact on the lives of thousands of children. As a former fifth grade teacher, I appreciate Ted's calm demeanor, his enthusiasm for physical education, and the care he shows his students. As an administrator, I appreciate Ted's ability to adjust his practice to accommodate different learning styles, his historical knowledge of the Butler School and Belmont, as well as his ability to anticipate what is needed for success and initiate these steps on his own. Thank you, Ted, for your 30 years of service here in Belmont. I've got one final hand for everyone celebrating 30 years of service. And now we move to those celebrating 35 years of service. So I'm going to ask Jackie Morgan, our food services director, to come on up and speak on behalf of Marie Bonfiglio. Good afternoon. Marie is just a love, and she couldn't be here today. She had an appointment, and she tried so hard to cancel it, rearrange it, and she couldn't. So I told her this was being recorded, so I'm going to look at the camera and pretend I'm looking at Marie. So when we thought of Marie, we found a beautiful quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald. It was only a sunny smile, and little it cost in the giving, but like morning light, it scattered the night and made the day worth living. And that just thumbs up Marie. She is just the kindest, loveliest person, and she has a very gentle way with our students. As we celebrate 35 years, like Mike said, you haven't had a few of these in a long time. Um, this is, so Marie started with the Belmont School as a lunch aide, one of the hardest jobs, I think, in any school system, to, to balance the child's excitement for lunch and recess and also following the rules. So, in two, and so that was in 1997, and then in 2017, she came over and she joined the food service team. I joked with her, maybe the cold, snowy days had got to her. So she joined the food service team in 2017, and she's been wonderful. She, as many of you know, is our cashier. And cashier is a tricky little job in food service. That's where the child comes through with the final moment where we check the allergies, we check to make sure there's enough food on the tray, and we're trying to keep the lines going fast. So her primary responsibility has been interacting and running the registers, but always with a smile. She has a very kind way about her, and her manager, Donna Hubbard, said, Marie's always stepped up to assist with kitchen responsibilities, always asking or willing to work extra hours. And now, as you all know, serving free meals, we have a few extra students coming through every day, and Marie has always stepped up for that. She's enabled the Butler team to serve at a uh, a substantial amount of breakfast each day as well as lunches. So Marie, please accept our huge thanks to you after 35 years of service for the Belmont Schools. Thank you. And last, but by no means least, I'm going to invite Brenda Morrow to come back up on behalf of Noreen Saka, who is celebrating 35 years at the Burbank School. Years. 
seems like a shift. It does. Let's hear a little bit about you. Okay. Noreen Saka joined the Belmont Public Schools as a clerical aide at the high school in 1988, where she served for five years, and I didn't know that until last week. In the library. In the library, yes. Noreen then joined Burbank School as the building secretary on August 15, 1994, and she has held this position ever since. I had the privilege of working with Noreen when I was a teacher at Burbank 23 years ago. And when I walked back into Burbank School in January of 2022 as principal, I felt like I was home because of Noreen's welcoming smile and supportive disposition. It is apparent after reviewing the years of positive feedback Noreen has received from previous principals, and more importantly, the current comments from students and staff, that Noreen has a very special ability to make people feel like they are home at Burbank School. Noreen is a huge reason why Burbank School is the place we want to be as our school. After Noreen's first year as a secretary, her principal at the time, Rose Feinberg, you need to let her know she's in your speech because she'll be really happy, noted the following on her evaluation. In addition to her ability to use the computer, including Mac School, word processing, and other programs, Noreen has taken care of both the copy machine and the risograph. <laughs> Noreen is prepared to do whatever is necessary to get things done and to find the answers to questions. 35 years later, this co these comments still apply, except now Noreen is learning how to navigate Google, which she claims is not her friend. In preparation for today, we asked our students and staff to share some comments about Noreen. Students shared that Mrs. Sackett is always hardworking. She never forgets when someone needs something. Mrs. Sackett is always there when we need her, and she is very helpful and flexible. Mrs. Saka is really good at doing the announcements. She is also great at doing requests from kids and parents. Hopefully she doesn't retire. <laughs> Staff Noreen as organized, logical, and systematic. She has a wonderful sense of humor. Noreen helps to keep the Burbank run like a well-oiled machine. She knows the ins and outs of everything, unless it is the Google platform. I did not say that, just so you know and helps us all, I bet you can guess, and helps us all navigate each day at the Burbank. She is the glue that holds us all together. Noreen is a wealth of knowledge of all things Burbank and Belmont. I think we heard that in uh, Mr. Trodden's as well. The students say she's the boss of Burbank. She is pleasant, funny, and has great style. Noreen, thank you for your 35 years of service. How about one final hand for those celebrating 25, 30, and 35 years? I want to say thank you to Brenda for your kind words on behalf of Noreen. And before we end, I want to take a few minutes to especially thank a small army of people who helped organize today's ceremony. I want to first thank Renato Papa and his crew here for cleaning the cafeteria and organizing all the furniture very early today. So give them a hand, let them hear it. I want to thank Jackie and Gail and the food, entire food services team who hasn't stopped working since we all walked in here. Uh, and they can hear us back there, I hope. If they want to come out, get, they won't come out. They'll be too humble. But give them a hand so they can hear it. Uh, preparing all of our food and all of our beverages. I want to thank Patrick McLaughlin, who's down the hall. And if you yell loud enough, he might hear you for all the help with the AV needs. Give him a hand, please. Uh, Jeff Hansel from the Belmont Media Center is back there for his help filming today's ceremony. <laughs> to be fair, I gave Jeff about a day of warning and he still came down. So as soon as this is posted online, we'll send out the link so that you can share it with your friends and your family who maybe weren't able to be here to celebrate with you today. Uh, and finally, I personally want to celebrate uh, and thank Consuelo and Rebecca for thinking of every little detail. From the list of honorees, to the invitations, to the flowers, to the most minute of details. So thank the, both of them, please. I want to thank all the district school and association leaders for taking part in today's ceremony. Please give them a hand. 
I want to thank members of the Belmont School Committee who were able to join us today. Give them a hand, please. And I also want to thank those Belmont educators who are simply here to support their colleagues. Give yourself a hand, please. Most of all, I want to thank and congratulate those educators who are honored today. We honor your service. We look forward to celebrating your next milestone as a member of the Belmont Public Schools family. Thank you all very much.